misunderstood and stigmatized. Lisa will be telling us about one particular illness that is more understood, misunderstood than most. OCD is not an adjective. <laughs> J.J. Keeler, author of I Hardly Ever Wash My Hands, The Other Side of OCD. <laughs> this popular trend in society today that's bothersome. All mental illness is misunderstood. But this is different in that everyone thinks they have it. They have a little quirk, everybody likes to have their pens in a certain order, or their house is clean, so I'm OCD. <laughs> no, not an adjective. And not a quirk. Those can be symptoms of disease, but having a clean house or organized desk are only symptoms of the disease if they're accompanied by <coughs> debilitating anxiety, catastrophic thinking, and often ritual behaviors. This stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessions are unwanted intrusive thoughts that the sufferer cannot control. Common Topics that people obsess about are contamination and cleanliness, self-harm, harm to others, sexual thoughts, physical health, superstitions, and loss of control. Compulsions are repetitive behaviors that one uses to rid themselves of these anxieties. The problem is they don't usually work for more than just a few minutes at all. These uncontrollable thoughts and actions are often time-consuming and overtake this person's life. Common compulsions that are noted are excessive hygiene and cleanliness, counting, making lists, checking things over and over again, such as making sure the stove is turned off 20 times, and repeating specific routines. An explanation given by the International OCD Foundation thought this was a very telling quote. Anxiety is an emotion that tells you to respond, react, protect yourself, do something. On the one hand, you might recognize that the fear doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem reasonable, yet it still feels very real, intense, and true. Why would your brain lie? Why would you have these feelings if they weren't true? The feelings don't lie, do they? Unfortunately, if you have OCD, they do lie. Your brain is telling you that you are in danger when you are not. The warning system in your brain is not working correctly. Those tortured by OCD are desperately trying to get away from paralyzing unending anxiety. Experts are unsure what causes this disease, but it's one theory is it's actually a uh, difference in brain structure. They did MRIs comparing sufferers of disease with non-sufferers and actually found some differences in brain structure. It's also believed to be a genetic illness Yes, it does run in families, but it is usually triggered by something. Genetics alone do not cause it. Sometimes triggered by a traumatic event or everyday stressor, sometimes the trigger is not known. According to the IOCDF, 45 to 65 percent of sufferers are diagnosed or first show symptoms in childhood. It is estimated that one in 100 adults suffer from it and one in 200 children. So while it's a, it's a common disease, it's not rare. It's also not as common as people think it is. This is important to me because I am a sufferer of OCD. I had it as a child. I, when, as a child, I had the more common symptoms of washing my hands frequently and just anxiety about everything. When I reached age 16, I developed a new symptom based off a of very mild, week-long illness that wasn't anything. But I became obsessed with not feeling that way again. To the point where I was afraid to eat. I lost 40 pounds in about four months. And my life was overcome by this. It got worse 
about age 19 when I went off to college. I was afraid to eat hardly anything. I was taking all these supplements, drinking tons of water, making myself sick because I was trying to prevent getting sick. I was making myself sick in the process. That was the first time I finally saw a doctor and got some medication. That didn't really help. It took years of medications to get stabilized and go through. I was drinking a gallon of water a day, and if I didn't drink that much, I think I'd be sick. But I was getting sick by doing so. Mm. Fortunately, I have overcome that side of the disease through medication and counseling and just luck, I think. But um, now it's, it's still there. It's not a disease that goes away. Now it's internal. I have I make lists in my head constantly, all day, every day. It's just what I do. It's normal for me. It doesn't bother me. But I do find if I'm trying to find a word in my list and I can't think of the word, I get a little panicky until I think of it, then I'm fine. It doesn't, it's not a very bothersome to me anymore, thankfully. So as you can see, this is not a, a trendy, quirky disease. It's not one that's cool to have, and it's very misunderstood. And it's not an adjective. Thank you. Well, that was Oops. 